What's up guys? Spotter here, and I uh, still got uh, plenty of World War II footage that I recorded from the beta to churn out to you guys over the coming, I guess, just over a month and a half until World War II releases on November 3rd. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, this particular game is war, and we're on offense, and we actually achieve our record time. I mean, I'm not going to say it's like a world record or anything like that of 4 minutes and 42 seconds on offense, and that's versus a full team. I mean, I know I've, we've gotten into matches where the enemy team has left and we'd finish it in like a minute, but, you know, I, I don't exactly think that's fair. Uh, you know what I mean? There's a couple things I wanted to update you on, and that grenade right there on offense, that is a beautiful grenade. You're going to see me do that again, and I get a double kill this next rush. But I wanted to update you guys on a couple of things. Uh, one is pre-order bonuses for World War II. Uh, have been announced. I think they've been announced for a few days now. One of them, look at that grenade. Boom, two kills. One of them is uh, you get an unlock, uh, a permanent unlock token just for pre ordering. So if you have a special gun like the WAF 28, which is pretty awesome, I mean, the grease gun is the first SMG that you use in the airborne division, is pretty awesome anyway. I don't really think you need this token or it's going to be a huge advantage. I mean, I'll probably unlock the Thompson or the M1928 or some shit like that, right? I don't know. Anyways, you get a, an unlock token for any gun in the game that's permanent. Uh, and also four hours worth of double XP for multiplayer. So that's not bad. I mean, it's all right. I mean, you know, pre-ordering, you don't have to do it right now. I mean, you got a month and a half. As long as you pre-order it before the game releases, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to get those rewards. All right. Um, the other thing that I want to talk about, and we did uh, this uh, this bridge actually pretty quick. The only thing you got to really worry about, or I really worry about anyway, being on this right-hand side, are those guys in the yellow, yeah, that yellow building right there. There's an MG up there, and uh, you often get snipers and other guys up there. But this grenade toss is actually pretty good. Uh, you'll kill those guys that are up there. I think somebody just killed one. Otherwise, I would have got a double. But we finished the bridge pretty quick. Okay, so the second thing is the uh, Call of Duty Endowments. So, the Call of Duty Endowment is a charity that uh, Bobby Kotick started up, you know, the Activision guy, the head of Activision. He found it in 2009, and uh, they're expanding it into the UK. And it looks like they've got an all-new animated calling card that you can get in Black Ops 3, plus there's a three rare supply drop pack that you can purchase. So, there's stuff that you can now purchase in there that's going to help directly with uh, the Call of Duty Endowment in the UK. So just to read uh, off this article, I'll link you in the description. It's bomb plants. You know, I did did this pretty quick. And, uh, you know, if you're on defense, don't build those two walls. See that wall that's being built at the back? Don't build those on defense because that's your only way in. Okay, just remember that. Um, so Activision announces it's expanding the support of its charitable foundation uh, into the UK. So far, it's placed more than 37,000 U.S. veterans into full-time jobs with decent wages and long-term employment. So they're looking forward to bringing that scheme uh, over to the UK. Basically, you know, veterans, army veterans, taking those guys and helping them find decent paying jobs that they can come into because, you know, sometimes they have a hard time with that stuff. So uh, the first anime calling card goes on sale today, or yeah, I think it was today. Was it today or yesterday? I don't know. Anyways, it's on sale and all proceeds Received from sales will go directly towards the endowment programs dedicated to finding these veterans high quality work. So if you want to do that, go and support the vets. You know, what What better way? You know, you got these microtransactions that get you stuff, but what better way, you know, when all the money from these particular microtransactions are going to an awesome charity like that. So if you're going to spend money on micros, go do it now on these particular ones to support our veterans. I mean, I'm in Canada. I, you know, uh, it's just... We don't have, they, they don't support veterans in Canada, but that's fine. I mean, it's supporting US and UK veterans. I'm fine with that. It's all good. Anyways, back to the gameplay. So we made uh, short work of the uh, ammo supply. I am actually in the tank now. I mean, I'm a sitting duck here, but I do get a bunch of kills. But yeah, generally you can be a, kind of a sitting duck in the tank. Uh, what I recommend, definitely one player on the offensive team be crouched directly in back of the tank. You know, right directly behind it. And if you're on uh, defense, directly in front of it. If you're crouched directly in front of the tank, that's probably one of the best spots to be in as well, just to prevent the advance. Anyways, uh, so I get, yeah, taken out, but we advance the tank pretty quick, pretty far, pretty quick. This grenade here also, like if you watch my grenades, they're pretty awesome. There's guys that are always hiding in the church. 
So, you know, use those grenade spots, guys. Okay, that's all I got for now, guys. Uh, World War II from the beta. I will have more for you guys soon, keeping you up to date on what's going on with World War II multiplayer. And uh, I can't wait till November 3rd, guys. That's all I got. I'm Spider. And I'm out. Four minutes, 42 seconds. Yeah.